Hello everyone, I'm Tuko and welcome back to another episode here on the One Ring server with the Umbar faction. And today we are going to be working on an arena um, that uh, I have been trying to work out on. Ooh, ooh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much, Tatovitz. Um, dang. Okay, yeah, I was naming some armor because we are in a bit of, uh, in some rough shape with our current armor. So let's get rid of that. Ooh, feather falling, projectile protection, I'm breaking. It's pretty good stuff. Fire protection. <laughs> I'll need that because last time, uh, yeah, I lost everything because uh, I didn't have any fire protection on. So that's very nice, actually. It's fire protection. I mean, it's not the best stuff, but hey, that, that is better than what I got. So definitely thank you. Mithril Hamid, that's pretty nice. Okay, so yeah, we are going to be working on uh, that. And actually, let me turn down chunks a little bit more so that we don't get all of the corn production. Uh, yeah, I lost my bow. <laughs> um, yeah, I lost it um, in, in the lava. So it didn't go too well with that, but um, <laughs> well, maybe now I can get a better bow. Um, that isn't such or so vanilla. Um, anyway, um, so before we do a start on the arena that I kind of wanted to do, I guess I'll first show you guys the area. And then we need to use some of my levels to try and get some unbreaking on my pickaxe here. Because I got Masterful Silken and Lasting, which are the um, scrolls that I wanted to get on here. But uh, we're going to need some more. So basically, I was going to plan on putting a little arena. Uh, down over here for our pirate <laughs> entertainment. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a fair size. It's not going to be huge by any means, but you know it should be a good, a good um, kind of diameter here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is uh, five this way, three, two, and then one, and then one, two, three, and five, and repeat that all around. And it should give us. I'm not sure how big it'd be. Uh, let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? So 24, diameter 24 blocks. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a fair size. I mean, I don't want this to be some huge uh, monolithic sort of, you know, arena. I mean, we are just pirates after all. Um, so don't exactly want to expand that to be too massive. But anyway, let's quickly go um, try and get some better... Uh, books for our pickaxe because I, I'm gonna need some better enchants for it um, and we do have the corn being smelted well cooked so if we do run out of some enchant or some XP levels and obviously get some from there uh, however I'm going to need some books uh, mainly for these um, I'm breaking although I could ask Tautovitz if he has any unbreaking books I think I'll ask him real quick. Um, do you have unbreaking by any chance? Um, let me see here. Actually, I can just do this. It'll be a lot easier. There we go. Um, do you have any unbreaking books? I almost have efficiency, so I'm not going to ask for that. But um, I'm, I really don't have any unbreaking. I have like an unbreaking one um, back at my dwarven place. But I don't think that's going to be enough, uh, to be honest, for any, anything, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, because I kind of want my, my pickaxe to last, kind of like the Mithra ones do. But um, because we got a lot of mining, they're very rare. Yeah, I figured that. Okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Yeah, um, I kind of figured that because it was kind of hard for me to get even even one unbreaking book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks anyway. Um, but we are going to need that nonetheless. So I probably won't do a bunch of mining then if that's the case. Um, I was kind of playing on a gang and unbreaking book, but that's okay. Um, although I'm still trying to wonder how exactly we're going to make this. So... I do like, you know, the, the stone design and all that, because I, I love stone, <laughs> especially since I'm used to dwarven builds and underground builds uh, with the Gundabad and dwarven let's plays. Um, however, uh, I was wondering on what sort of um, block palette we wanted to use. So, 
either we could go with what I've been doing with cobblestone and, you know, stone, just kind of like this. Uh, you know, it's just you know, continuation of this sort of thing. Of course, I got to add a few more torches, although I don't. Oh, I did have coal on me earlier. <laughs> I'll have to go grab some torches. But anyway, uh, so yeah, either we could go with the stone or cobblestone, or we could do like sandstone or the Harad um, bricks. I really don't want to use Umbar's bricks too much. I don't quite like them too much. Oh, what is this? Ooh, wow. Power four, I'm breaking three. Fierce and chilling. I mean, that's good for me. <laughs> that's fine. I, that, it's better than what I had. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Thank you again. Uh, that, that's a really good bow. Well, I mean, it's not great, but it's better than not having a bow at all. So, I mean, I would like to add infinity on it if we could find an infinity book. I don't know if we can or not, but that'd be great to add on it. Anyway, we're going to need to grab some um blocks for this I, I have all the stone blocks because i was building earlier that uh, little pathway i still haven't finished the secret tunnel um because i've been trying to get the kind of i guess you call it a foyer uh finished we should have some uh haradrim and sandstone blocks in here on oh, the cracked well at least we have some sandstone and grab some sandstone stairs walls i'm not really sure what design i want to go for but uh you know we can always experiment <laughs> and see what we see what we want to do so that'll be the sandstone do we have any doesn't look like we have any haradrim bricks uh what is this um a pickaxe <laughs> uh, a pickaxe is what i need it for because i don't want to keep repairing it and i got a lot to do um <laughs> with mining uh, yes. All right. So it looks like we do have some Haradrim bricks in here, which is nice. We also got some pillars too. I mean, I guess we could use Umbar pillars. They actually look pretty good, but let's just stick with, uh, these three different pallets. Uh, I am going to need some walls, although I don't, I'm not seeing any. Um, well, I guess we could just <laughs> imagine that there are walls there uh, for the time being, because I, I don't see any sand either uh, for me to make sandstone to turn it into Rodrum bricks, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just uh, have to <laughs> make do with what we have at the moment. So I will dig down a little bit, make a little area for where and how high I want the arena. I don't want it to be too high. I'm thinking probably maybe seven, maybe nine blocks um, high, I'm thinking. Oh wait, before we before we do anything, I mean, I'm gonna need torches so I can see because currently I can't see anything. So, uh, <laughs> grab some coal real quick. We should have quite a bit in our chest here because of all the coal we are cooking. Um, and we'll see how that all goes. Um, so if we just head on in here real quick and we should have some, oh, down in here. Um, there we go, some coal. Now, uh, if you guys are wondering about all the lag that I'm experiencing, to be honest, I have no clue what it's about because <laughs> when I started, when I was about to record here, um, I turned on OBS, which is the recording software I use, and it was just giving me a blank screen, a black screen. So I had to change some settings in it and some graphics card stuff, and now it's like this. So, <laughs> and I didn't have any time today to actually fiddle with it, so sorry about that. Next episode will be a lot better in terms of maybe quality of uh, the lag being less. So sorry about that for this one. I just didn't have time to actually configure anything, um, especially with all the homework I got and uh, work today. So, but anyway, uh, I guess we can start on with this. Now, the arena itself is not, you know, the fighting area is not gonna be 25 or 24 blocks. It's gonna be reduced by four, so it'd be about 20 blocks, oh boy. That's kind of, I mean, it's even, which I don't like evens. I don't like working in evens. It's got to be an odd though, right? I mean, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Now it's 12 right in the middle. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to have to make do with that. <laughs> Having it 12 in the middle. That's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to make do. Anyway, uh, I was thinking of having basically a walkway with one block wide and then have like um um 
I guess kind of like a railway, if you would. You know, just kind of like a, a nice little wall around it so nobody falls into the pit, <laughs> if you would. But anyway, I'm going to dig down probably, yeah, like seven, maybe more than that. Maybe like nine. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how far down we exact, uh, we want to go. And actually, since this is a cave, it should be a little bit easier in digging this out uh, because we'll we'll have some open areas, I guess, uh, where there isn't any digging required, which is kind of nice. All right. So uh, ooh, I guess we'll also have to take down um, one more actually here simply because uh, I kind of want to turn this entire place into either one or the other, either the stone or the sandstone or horadrum. I'm kind of thinking and kind of leaning towards horadrum, but I'd be fine also with kind of like a combo of the two with sandstone and horadrum bricks, um, but not entirely sure about that. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see what looks good or not, because I'm not sure. I haven't tried this in a creative world yet, so I really don't know what this is going to look like, uh, to be honest. I mean, that's quite a... That's quite a pit. <laughs> that is quite a pit. Let's dig uh, this way a little bit. That way we give ourselves a little bit more room to see and you know, kind of take a step back and look at our work. So kind of take this out a little bit more. Um, and let's place some torches around. That way we can, oh, that way we can see. And then we can start work on this. All right then. So let's first start. I'm gonna go with Rodrum pillars because there are only pillars that we can use really. Um, I mean, we can make stone pillars, obviously, but I'm just saying for like sandstone and Haradrim. Haradrim's the only pillars we have, which is all right. That's fine. Um, so let me see here. How, how are we doing this? I'm trying to think here. Um, well, I guess we could also take down this area about, mm, I'm going to leave it about that far. So we got to take down like one more layer here. Or <laughs> one more uh, block this way. And then we should... Ooh, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to get rid of my torch there. All right. And then we should be able to see how exactly this is going to look and play out. So, uh, just get rid of all these blocks here. And it should be good. All right, cool. All right, then. So, how do we want to do this? So, that is seven blocks. So I guess what we could do is uh, put in the Haradrim pillars here, like so. And that should, oh, no, one more over. <laughs> one more over, and then it'll be uh, looking pretty good. All right, and then we'll see how we want to fill in the middle. I kind of want, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I really don't know how exactly I want this. I haven't put much thought into it. So we're going to see what works here. All right, then. So we have this here. Um, do we want arches or just like um, kind of like a more dwarven-ish sort of style? So I'll just grab sandstone here then. Just kind of do it. I guess we'll do a bit more. We'll do a bit more dwarven since I, I, I should say, you know, I'm from the dwarven, I'm from the dwarven land. So <laughs> I'm from the Iron Hills. So we're going to go with a bit more dwarven. Um, uh, that doesn't really look too good. The sandstone, the rod from bricks. They look a little weird. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess we can continue with this and just see how it looks. If it really doesn't look good, we can we can obviously switch it. Because, I mean, that doesn't look too grand, to be honest. Looks a little... Just a little weird. I mean... <laughs> actually, it looks very odd. Alright, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see how this looks. Or see how... It, plays out I suppose <laughs> all right so next then I guess we'll use the sandstone walls to detail a bit more through the middle uh, we'll just do something like this and I guess we can use some more slabs and combine it like so I mean how does that look uh, I can't exactly see the bottom can you all right so let me <laughs> let me quickly mine out a little bit more of this and then we can see how the bottom looks uh, a little bit better here. All right, I think that should be good. All right then. So, oh, <laughs> dug ourselves into a corner. All right, there we go. Now, how does that look, kind of? I mean, I don't know. It looks a little odd. 
Not gonna lie. Looks kind of weird. Um. Hmm. Well, let's try removing the back and replacing it with the Horadrim bricks, maybe? That might, might make it look a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like if I was to do something like um, this. Would that maybe look better? Maybe. I don't know. Let's try one side of complete uh, Horadrim bricks. And then we'll compare it to the other side that's just stone. And we'll see how that looks because I'm not I'm not too sure on how I like this, um, to be honest. So we'll just move that down like that. And then I guess we'll take a look here. Um, I, I don't know. I really don't know. It looks, looks kind of weird. Um, do we have any, no, we don't have any, well, let me make some stairs real quick, Karadrum stairs, and we can try and detail a little bit better, because that, I don't know, maybe we should just stick with stone, you know, I kind of tempted just to stick with stone, you know what, yeah, let's just go with stone, stone's easy, stone's simple, um, you just match it with cobblestone and regular stone. and Yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> It'll be a little bit easier, maybe. I, I've never really built in sandstone. So let's just do that. Um, let's get rid of all of this here, all the sandstone and horizon bricks. And we'll just, we'll just go with stone. I mean, if you guys really like this design, which I mean, I guess. Um, I guess we can go with it, but I don't know. I, I don't quite like it. Um, so let's try just plain old stone i'm gonna dump yeah i'm gonna dump some stuff off and uh then we can work on the stone or actually i could just throw it in this dirt pouch i don't have any dirt in it yet so we might as well just throw all the sandstone in here and everything that's useless to us for the time being um and that should be good okay and then i do have a building pouch that should have all my dirt and stuff and stone and we should be able to make some stone pillars and those I think would actually look good uh, with what we have going on so far because I just I don't know it just doesn't it just didn't look right. All right, so do we have everything I need for this? Uh, maybe a few more cobblestone slabs. And do I need any more stairs? I think we're good. I think we're good to be honest. All right then, I guess we'll use cobblestone slabs and stuff like that. All right, cool. All right then, let's put the um, pillars in here first and see how that looks. Uh, we'll just put them where the other ones went, the Rajam ones. And they should be looking pretty good because I really do like the stone pillars. They look, <laughs> they look really good. Um, but we'll see how it all comes together with uh, cobblestone and other pieces like that. Uh, let's eat real quick and, and then we'll continue here. All right, so... Uh, what do we want the backdrop to be? Now it could be cobblestone, perhaps, or I think I think we should just go with regular stone. To be honest, um, yeah, let's just go with regular stone. Just fill it back into what it was. Um, luckily, I have a silken touch pickaxe, so we don't have to do a bunch of of um, smelting for smooth stone, which is nice. Uh, right, but we'll just replace that with that. Get a nice blank wall, a nice blank palette to work with. Now, I don't really like, I didn't really like the design that we were doing for the uh, sandstone one. So, I'm thinking we can kind of do like a nice arch, maybe? Well, we'll put in the middle uh, some cobblestone walls going up to the top like that. And then what we'll do is, we'll just do something like this. We'll come over three high, and then we gotta kinda climb all the way up here, since I don't have fly enabled, unfortunately. Uh, and we'll, oh shoot. Uh, and what we'll do is, ooh, I really like that feather falling. We didn't take any damage, that's pretty nice. But anyway, <laughs> back to what we were doing. Um, we'll do something kinda like this, I'm thinking. And kinda place it over like so. No, 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 not like that. Uh, get rid of that, but we'll place it over like that. All right, so this side, we'll do something similar. 
um, and then like that and like that. And then I guess we for the top, we can just do regular cobblestone and we'll see how that looks. Um, you know, it looks all right, but I think it's missing something like some extra details here up at the top. I'm thinking, so we'll move, remove these three and we'll replace it with something like that. And that should end up looking a little bit better. Um, eh, I wouldn't say it looks better. No, nah, that doesn't look too much better. Um, maybe we should use just regular stone perhaps. I don't know, let's try that. Let's try stone. Cause I don't like, I don't like how that looks. It looks a little, a little odd to be honest. Um, yeah. All right, so let's just first try regular stone. See how that looks. If it's looking good, we'll keep it. But, hmm, I don't know. I don't think that looks very good. You know what? Let's try um, the cobblestone stairs again. However, this time let's go like this maybe. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to see the depth when it's just one texture. Although that one does look the best, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's try doing that, but let's also do something like this. Perhaps like that. Yeah. And let's kind of try and make something so that uh, the <laughs> competitors can't exactly get into this area here. And let's try and mirror what we did at the top. Maybe. I mean, that might look good. I don't, I don't, I don't really know, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that looks, um, how it looks up at the top there. All right, so let's do something like this perhaps. We'll do like that and that and something like that maybe. And we'll place that in like so. And we'll just try and mirror what's on the top and I'll see how that looks here in just a moment. Let's be honest, I don't know quite how this is going to look. It might look really weird, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it all looks. Okay, how does that look? Really weird. Okay, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what I thought. That looks really just, no, 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 no. Sorry, no, that just, no, that, that's not gonna work at all. So uh, what I think I'm gonna do then is basically just do something like this, and then we're just gonna kind of bring this up like so, and then we're going to do this. And that should look a lot better, I think. Yeah, that looks better. Um, this in the middle looks a bit weird though. So we might wanna do something like that maybe? Nah, that doesn't look too good. Uh, so what we'll do is then, we'll put the, the stairs like that. And what we'll do is, We'll take maybe stone stairs even and do something like this, perhaps. Um, I don't know. I think if we're doing cobblestone, we should just stick to cobblestone. And to be honest, I don't think we need stairs there. What we need are slabs to come across like that. Ooh, and maybe on the top too. Uh, so we'll put some slabs there and we'll put some here as well. And that should, that should be looking pretty good. Um, uh, that, no. <laughs> I can't make up, up, my, up my mind here. I just, this just isn't looking right. I don't know what's wrong with it. You know what, maybe it's the back design. Maybe we gotta do something with like this. We'll try. Let's replace this with, um, get some uh, details in here with the stairs maybe. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's looking a bit weird, uh, to be honest. Maybe we'll do something even like uh, like this. No, 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 not like that. No, get, get out of there. <laughs> we'll use the stairs like this to add some extra details to the walls. And that should end up actually looking halfway decent. Okay, I like where this is going. However, I feel like what we need to do though, instead of doing that is something like this and do it all the way from top to the bottom and maybe even replace the back here with um with the pillars perhaps we'll see uh we'll just get rid of that there 
and replace it with these stairs. Okay, that should actually look all right. And that does, I, I quite like that actually. Uh, but let's try with the middle. We're gonna place replace the middle here with um, with this here, the pillar. And I guess we'll do it all the way to the top, might as well. Uh, I mean, if we're doing the rest all the way to the top, might as well do this one too, huh? And I'll bring it all the way down and that should, ooh, yeah, I like that. And what we can do is we can do that all the way around. So like we could repeat this pattern, but it'll be on like um, kind of a curved thing. And honestly, I think that'd look pretty good. So basically what we're gonna have is, well, uh, mm. <laughs> that's a little bit too high, there we go. Uh, so basically what we're gonna have is, we're gonna have this on either corner and then um, kind of connect it with like a curved thing over here. And what are you holding, Tomfavis? That is an awesome sword. What, what What is that? Come back here. What is that? Yeah, what's that sword? Um, what's that sword? Because that is a cool looking sword. Or cleaver or something. Yeah, what, what is that? Because, I mean, I've never seen something like that before. That's awesome. A Malorn Mace. Huh. That's really cool looking. <laughs> that is really cool looking. Yeah, I've, I've never seen that for some reason. Huh. Well, anyway. Damage same as Myth... Oh my goodness. Same as Myth Battle Axe? That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's like... Mm, I want to say 10 or 11 damage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know the items too well. All I know is the building blocks. But anyway, I do like that a lot, actually. And so I guess all we have to do then is connect them up with the rest of these, and I have a lot of digging to go through. Now, as for the dome, I don't quite know how we're gonna do that. Now, also, here's another question. <laughs> we could also make stands uh, going back, uh, you know, all the way around here. However, I'm not quite sure how we, you know, if we want to do that or not, or if we just have like the ring around it where people can stand and just watch, you know, arms like over the railing, just looking down, placing bets and stuff like that. I'm thinking just leaving it like that, uh, to be honest, you know, maybe detailing the walls a little bit. And as for the ceiling, I kind of want a dome, but... I'm not 100% certain how exactly I'm going to do that. <laughs> if, if we want like a super flat dome or just an actual dome or or even if we're going to hit the <laughs> the uh, ground level because uh, we might be hitting that, um, which would be unfortunate. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, so we have the design down then, I think, for that. If you guys want something else, you know, feel free to mention that in the comments. But I think I'm going to keep this one. I kind of like it for some reason. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to hit that like button. As always, I'm Tuco. God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.